Without question, the favorite hunt of the year for us and the entire group here in Iowa is our Catch a Dream event. And this year, like many in the past, we were anxious to meet the family and get to know more about Cooper and all of his siblings, his mom and dad, and uh, just find out exactly more about their story. And we're so thankful to them and to Cooper for coming in and joining us for a hunt, try to get their mind off of it a little bit. And most importantly, they were willing to sit down and talk to us a little bit about what they're going through as a family. Um, I think it's so hard for many of us to relate because no one can prepare for this type of diagnosis. Uh, we're looking forward to the hunt. We're looking forward to meeting Cooper and his entire family. I'll bet we become new friends. Uh, so Cooper, um, playing baseball, he's always been active in baseball. He uh, pitched a lot of games, playing All-Stars, and uh, he would, he kind of would complain about his ankle bothering him some. And uh, so, you know, at first we kind of brushed it off and we had got him a scooter and he would ride it and we thought maybe, you know, he hurt his ankle. One day he came home from uh, getting ready for a baseball tournament. You know, he complained about his ankle again. So we um, took him to the doctor there in Columbia where we live. They had thought he had a sports injury. So um, they kind of put a boot on him and told us, you know, we would need to Long story short, we need to go to Jackson to see a specialist up there, and so we, we went up there and um, to UMMC, and that's when they, you know, told us that they had found a tumor in his bone. And you, you're kind of numb at first. Yeah. When we found the news, you would have thought life was already over. I mean, that was just it's unbelievable. You're, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's you're like, just in no, shock. I can't, can't be. Yeah, you're wrong. This is a dream. Let me yeah. wake up. You know, and, and um, for the first week or two, you know, you're just still, no, you know, this can't yeah. be. They're wrong. Osteosarcoma is only, there's only one treatment. And that was Cooper's biggest request when he, when he first found out, that was the very first thing he said to me. He said, it always makes me want to cry. He said, as long as I'm home, more than I'm at the hospital, I'll be okay. And so we have tried to bake that, because he loves being home. He's a homebody. He loves being home, being outside. So we've tried. I mean, there's days where we will leave the hospital. He's been there for six days, seven days. Get out of the car. Get out of the car and get straight on his floor. And not even go inside and go ride, because he just needs to be. And that's tough for a person who loves outdoors to be shut up in a hospital room for six days, and you can't even go outside and feel the fresh air. And that's tough on a, an outdoors person. When we found out about Catch a Dream, somebody, another person that had went through y'all's company told us about it and, you know, go, go online, apply to Catch a Dream. And so I went in, filled out the application, really wasn't thinking anything else of it, never really thought of it again. You know, we're busy, we're in treatment and out of the hospital. And, and then we get the phone call that, you know, hey, we have this opportunity for Cooper. And it, it really makes it better for the kids because they, it gives them something to look forward to. Right. You're like, hey, you need to get better. You have this trip coming up. We have this going on. You know, you want to, it gives them something, some hope, something to look forward to, something, something different. And, and two, uh, Catch a Dream, to me, it's so catered around the outdoors. And a lot of other foundations, are, they're not like that. So that's a different opportunity of, you know, just like Cooper, he didn't, he didn't want a trip to Hawaii. He didn't want, you know, he wanted, he loves outdoors. We've got Cooper coming in. He's not been feeling the best, although I heard yesterday he's feeling a little bit better. So we're gonna take him out tonight and our fingers are crossed we can make it happen tonight. The hunting has been tough. We haven't killed a deer yet in phase one. Now we're into phase two, but we've got one field up where there's a few bucks daylighting, so. Yep. And getting to hunt Iowa and our little good luck charm's coming in, so hopefully yeah. it's the recipe that we need to kill tonight. And the best good luck charm, we're shooting a 350 legend. So <laughs> that, 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 that always evens things out for us a little bit. So we're excited they're about here, and we're gonna uh, have a quick meet and greet and then show him all the clothing and everything else, go to the uh, range, see how well Cooper shoots, have some lunch, and have a big time. We have a special guest coming into camp on a special hunt. His name is Cooper, coming in on a catch a dream hunt. Myself elected to give him my Buckeye, my lucky Buckeye that I have received from Terry Drury, old man winner, way back in the day. I cannot tell you when I got this Buckeye from Terry. 
but it's time to pass it on. And I cannot think of a better person than to give it to Cooper. I'm totally excited about giving it to him, and I hope it brings him luck like it has me in the past. There's our hunter. How's it going? Hi, Spencer. How are you, brother? Good to see you. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I'm Mark. Jason. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? How are you, buddy? Good. Good to see you. Nice to meet 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 you. God blessed us with a beautiful day today. So we're uh, excited to go hunting and excited to meet you and get to know you better and have a good time. We're excited. Great. We're excited. Hold on right quick and we'll uh, open these garage doors up for you. So we've got a few surprises. Uh, should be fully baked out. Tent lock, I believe, is. Uh, Sent you some camo to be out in the field. We've got some other clothes, catch dream clothes, catch dream caps, mom, dad, all you guys have some clothes from catch dream and even my young ladies. Woo! I got a shirt for you. A good little pink mom silk shirt. So, um, How do you know she like pink? <laughs> oh, wild guess, wild guess. So. so, when a catch a dream family arrives, there's always a meet and greet. And one of the cool things about catch a dream. They, they really do put on a great show, send in the camouflage that's needed, extra clothes that's needed. They always have every sibling in mind. They have mom and dad in mind. And uh, I think that's one of the cool things about it. They're a ministry and we're here for a reason, but they also take care of all the different details to make this event special and make the family feel welcome and warm. And that's how we start to bond that first day. We'll go about a mile and a half from here to another another spot to shoot and uh, then we'll come back for lunch. Sounds great. Sound good to you? Mm -hmm. Sound good to you? Yeah. Okay. Good deal. All right, we're gonna go shoot real quick with Cooper and uh, we just learned that not only are we going after his biggest buck of his life, we're going after his first deer ever. So that's exciting. We've got some nice racks coming to this particular field and uh, hopefully one of them steps out tonight. It's, it's a field we've, we've had good luck in the past. Chandler killed here last year. Uh, we've killed two or three. Rhett killed on this field. Kaylee killed on this field. I mean, it's literally becoming our catch a dream little honey hole. So hopefully Cooper can also have some luck tonight. We're excited to try and get him his first year. That'll be fun. You put your finger where you think you're gonna aim at that and I'll, I'll put a put a uh, plus sign there. Uh, right there. Yeah, I agree. Perfect. Good. All right, we'll go back there and see what you can do with that. All right. Just take your time, too. Right on the plus. I think you did well, bud. All three of these are gonna kill him quick. Yep. That one's gonna put him out immediately, but right there is perfect. That's real good. See what I mean? If you're in the middle, you got some you know, room for error. So you did very, very well shooting. What about that? Would you shoot one that side? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, we'll go back and uh, have a little lunch and have some fun. You want that target? Yeah. Sure? Okay, we'll take it off this one. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for uh, new friends, old friends, Lord, and everyone here to uh, do one thing, and that's to celebrate Cooper and to be a part of this journey with him. Thank you for keeping us all safe in our travels. Please bless the food that we're about to eat. Let it nourish our bodies, and as always, our bodies be used for your service. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Cooper, you got to start it off, buddy. <laughs> We're going to the spot, and the wind's right for it tonight, so we're lucky. So. 
Hopefully we can make it happen. All right. If you pull that trigger like you did on that range, we're gonna do just fine if, if we get a shot. Hello, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Don't get <laughs> Lucky Buckeye. March further tears. Gave me this whole time ago. Champ. Look. Now, that comes with a disclosure. He's missed about 20 game animals with that in his pocket. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Hey, how you doing? We're doing good. We just wanted to wish Cooper good luck tonight. Appreciate it. He said he appreciates it. Now, hey, I saw his target. Man, he was right on, dead on with that gun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he's going after his first deer tonight. That's awesome. All you got to do is just take your time and squeeze real slow. Well, good luck, guys. We just wanted to wish you good luck. Keep us posted if you have some luck. Okay. We, we will. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. Bye See bye. ya. Bye, bye, bye. That's Brother Terry. Now we're going to open those windows. It definitely got warm. It did get warm. You picked the, one, the magic bullet. Now, this is a very important choice. I'm just telling you. You got a lot of choices there, 16 to be exact. Which one? Are you positive? All right. I like it. I like it. We're going with it. Dad, you pick the backups, which we hope we don't need. <sighs> We're going to go with, um, we'll just go with this one. And one more backup. I'll go with this guy. Okay. So, we got a tradition here with that bullet. If you want to kiss that deer side, you kiss that bullet. And that's going to be the next thing it touches is that deer's rib cage. So give it a good deep one and tell him good night. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We're all safe. We're settled in. Deer cut says good, which I like. We ain't seen good in weeks. Good morning, good evening, and good night. So, what you think? What you think about? Ready to kill it. Ready to kill it. And that boy walks out, it's gonna die. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Coop, there it is. Coop, there it is. Yeah. And they thought they call it Coop Deal Double G. <laughs>
better angle. Yeah, get the drop. Yeah. And then just drop this window up here, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drop it far. We'll go wait for a broadside shot, then we're gonna drop. <laughs> Found out he's got a nickname. Cooper D O Double G. Dog. <laughs> we got two dogs in the house. That's now. right. Man, that was awesome. Only, well, we saw we saw Spike, a two-year-old eight, and Mr. Regular, the fourth one, finally walk, came back. I saw him walk out of the reconics and I was sitting here going, He's back. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's back. And then I heard it. <laughs> oh, we're Thank proud you. of you. Congrats, buddy. Awesome. Right. Good work. That's awesome. <laughs> this episode of DOD TV is brought to you by the new specially designed, lightweight, and durable Tenzing Day Pack. Go further, hunt longer, Tenzing. But then it gets better right in there. And that was the trail Wade saw him on, so I think we'll make our way through here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. 
is going up this trail. There he is, buddy. Cooper, what do you think, buddy? <laughs> Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Get down there. <laughs> Here, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> Done. That's a hammer. <laughs> That's a hammer. Let's see that. Let's take that light. Look at that, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. He actually does that. Look at that. Wow. All Beautiful. right, let's get him tagged real quick, buddy. That's a horse. Man, he's look huge. how, look, he's, he's huge. huge. He's huge. <laughs> well, it barely fits, dude. <laughs> Keep that on you later. We'll have to check him in, okay? Well, congratulations, Cooper. I told you in the blind, I'll tell you again, we are proud of you, buddy. You did well. <laughs> you, you said that you'd never felt that feeling before. How do you feel now? Good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Dad? It's an awesome thing to be here with you all and my son, and this is an awesome buck and an awesome opportunity. And this is the chance of a lifetime. We're so tickled it came together, buddy. It's just a tremendous Iowa whitetail. Both G2s are forked, long G1s. Long I mean, uh, he's 11 points total. So we missed, he asked for a 10 points, so we went <laughs> over by one. But uh, you got your buck, bud. Awesome, awesome. Nice. Now, this next part, to me, is probably one of the most incredible things I've ever seen at Drury Outdoors. And if you don't believe in the good Lord above, perhaps this will, uh, change your mind just a little bit. There was something special that occurred in camp uh, between Coon Dog and Cooper. And then what happens after that, during the hunt, when we recover Cooper's deer, well, that was even more special. And uh, just think about the odds of all of this occurring as you watch this piece. That is one incredible animal. Buddy. Yes, it is. Good job, buddy. Right. Buckeye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe it come out when it got the tag? I don't know, I thought his said dog on it. I literally have never found one in my life and this was laying right there. Well, he better yeah, keep that. that one. Is it in your right pocket? Yeah, it had to come out when the tag. Oh, no kidding. Wow. <laughs> I've literally never found one in my life and it was laying right here. Well, so he's got right his. Buckeye tree is right above. Wow. <laughs> That's I've pretty neat. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. So Wade just looked down and he goes, is this your Buckeye? <laughs> but yours says dog on it. His is still in his pocket. Wade's never found one in his life. I'll bet you couldn't get that one from him. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to pry that from his hand. What do you think? You think the Buckeye helped us tonight? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna give that one back to dog or keep it? I'd keep it, I'd keep it brother. I'd keep that. I'd keep that. That's good luck. died under a buckeye tree. He died under a buckeye tree, dog. And Wade knelt on it. He knelt on it. I said, did you drop your buckeye? Look at it. <laughs> oh. 
And that's the first Buckeye Wade's ever found. He yeah. died under a Buckeye tree. Now tell me there ain't something going on, brother. <laughs> 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 Wow. That's wow. Yeah, but we That's won't give him that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I said it uh, before that piece started. If you don't believe in the good Lord, well, that'll make a believer out of you. Uh, these children are special, and I think that they are in his hands when they're in with us and at all times. And for Coon Dog, to give him that Buckeye that Terry gave to him so many years ago. And then for Wade to kneel down in the dark, mind you, with camera lights only, and there lies a single Buckeye off of that Buckeye tree. No others in the area. The first one he's ever found. I've never found one on, on my farms. Is just unbelievable. So how did it get there? How did it happen? How did it all occur that night with Cooper there, his dead deer? That deer died within feet of that Buckeye and then Wade found it. Pretty unbelievable stuff. Come on now, he ain't gonna bite you. How about that? Come on! Uh oh! Come on! Yeah, that took long enough. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh yeah. Uh oh! Come on with it! Hey, there it is! You like country music? You like uh, Chris Judson? Buy me a boat? Yep. <laughs> Good dude. He sent you so. But I wanted to say congratulations yeah. on that big monster deer. And I really hope you get a doe too. Golly, an awesome fish, by the way. Man, Mark and the team, awesome guys. I know you know, but man, I just want to say congratulations. That's big time, dude. That's big time. I've never shot a deer in Iowa. And that's one of my lifelong goals too. So thanks for being you, brother. Great job. You look awesome in the pictures, by the way. And uh, clearly, you're an amazing shot. So congratulations. And I hope to see you sometime down the road too, buddy. See ya. Wow, man. Cooper. That's <laughs> awesome. That, that is awesome. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> I think you just started liking his songs even better. <laughs> <laughs>
So we are, uh, we're very thankful that the Brady's came in and we're more thankful that they were willing to share Cooper's story and open up just a little bit about what they're going through as a family and also what Catch a Dream means to them. These guys know this, but on every Catch a Dream trip, we like to kind of wrap everything up with a little special we call ceremony, presentation. We like to tell everyone that's involved here, thank you. This is the eighth child and family that we've had the opportunity to serve here. Last Sunday was the day that, and some of you may not know it, I got a call from Jason, actually a text, called him Sunday morning, and it was a call of, hey, I don't know what we need to do, we may not be able to go. Cooper couldn't get out of the bed. We didn't know if this was gonna happen. We prayed for him and our whole staff prayed for him. I shared with Mark. I'm sure all of you guys that knew said a little prayer as well and, and here we are. This kid was skipping steps last night going up the hotel steps. And there's some more people that you guys have had praying for you all along. This is their contribution every year, an Eagle Afghan. And it's got a Bible verse on there. Cooper, this is yours. Anytime you're needing to stay on that couch, maybe you'll have a little something to keep you warm and remember this trip and some encouragement with that verse. Another little gift that is a brand new little gift. The youngest one in this family, I've got something for her. Miss Callie, I wanna give this to you. And you can have a buddy the whole way home we wouldn't be here without the news a year, year plus ago that there was a young man that was about to enter the challenge and battle of his life. If I'm correct, scans in a week, next week maybe. Um, for all of us here, we hope and pray that those scans are encouraging, but Cooper, thank you for being here, for sharing time with us. Buddy, we love you and take that and hang it by your dear, I'm gonna shake your hand. I'm gonna get a hug in a minute, but um, hopefully you'll wear that one proudly. For 20, 21 years, we've provided every child with a Bible. In your mind, you came up here just to hunt, kill your first deer, and enjoy time in the outdoors. But for us, what I'm about to read to you, that is why we have brought you up here and what these guys enable us to do. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They'll walk and not be faint. A year ago, Coop, you weren't having to get around on that prosthetic leg. You had a real leg. I've seen pictures of it. You were a healthy individual for the most part. You're a young man. You're not supposed to be, that's not supposed to happen to you. But even you as a young man, as a 14 year old, you will grow tired and weary. Sometimes you'll stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord, that is put your hope and faith and trust in the Lord, you'll renew your strength. You will soar on eagle's wings, the most majestic, powerful bird there is. You'll run and not grow weary. You'll walk and not be faint. Cooper, this is what I consider maybe to be my most precious gift for you and I hope you feel the same way so I appreciate you being here toughing it out and being a part of, of Catch a Dream so thank you sir we, we love you. the significance of that Buckeye and how long have you had that Buckeye from Terry now a long time. since you can give up something of value to you that's personal for you um, I've got a, a challenge coin that I've had for eight years in my pocket. I got that when I started with Catch a Dream. And I got to thinking, if Coon Dog, if you can give up something of great value to you for this young man, I wanna give you that, my personal challenge coin, and thank you for, for giving up a big piece of, of you and who you are to hopefully help this young man have success. And well, I believe it dang sure worked. Have anything you wanna throw in there, Ad, or? I said it's an honor and a privilege. And those are there, they're significant because here's where we are the most and they serve as a great reminder that we're here to serve and uh, what we're, what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So that's yep. why they're there held in such prominence within our family. Yep. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Woo! And that one walks out.
is going down. That's what I'm talking about. Well, congratulations, Cooper. I told you in the blind, I'll tell you again, we are proud of you, buddy. You did well. Of course, she is at no All right, just an incredible few days with the Bradys. Again, thank you for coming in. Thank you for trusting us to take Cooper out. And uh, we wish you guys nothing but the best. We are praying for each and every one of you, especially you, Cooper. Keep fighting the good fight, for we're behind you 100% of the way, every step of the way. The prayer warriors will continue for you, buddy. We love you, and um, we're pulling for you. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DoD TV was presented by Silencer Central. Silence made simple.